Hi, this is Susie reporting for Shiny Shiny Tech Digest and I have just spent the last two hours being whizzed around London in a very nice silver Mercedes to uh, check out these new Navman products. Now these are just a couple that they've got in their range. I'll start with this one. It's the F20, which is their budget range. And as you can see, very easy to use. They've got rid of the stylus and all of these ones, so it's literally... You hit it with your thumb, it's a really easy menu, I'm not sure what I've just done there. Um, and this is their cheaper one which comes in at 179 quid, which is pretty damn cheap. And then, other end of the market, you've got your uh, N60i, which is, um, for this, massive screen there. Again, touch screen, really easy. Um, and I have to say, we spent two hours in the car with this thing, didn't go wrong once. I'm really, really impressed. Now, other things that this has got is traffic add-on so you can buy a little aerial which will tell you about the traffic going on in the area London middle of the day I have to say it's blocked everywhere it doesn't really matter where you are other things in addition to this speed cameras obviously so it comes all preloaded with the speed cameras and it'll tell you where they are you can slow down it's all very safe um, a couple of things that these uh, this one has got the N60 and the N40i has got a camera on the back I don't know if you can see that which works with their nav picks. Now their nav pick stuff is really clever. It just means that you take a photo and it's as simple as just hitting the camera button there. And it will basically find out where you are, it will store it on this. So if you want to ever go back to this nice bar, this nice shop, it'll automatically just whisk you away, it'll calculate the route, it'll do all that stuff for you. So it's very, very easy. Now the other things they've done, they've made them quite nice to look at. This is quite slim, I have to say it's quite light. It's not going to fit in my pocket, but no doubt there are men out there with cargo pants on that this would fit in. But actually it's designed to go in the car, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, and this one costs 399 and the range kind of goes down from there. So uh, all in all, I'm quite impressed. I like it.